نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد فعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی رب یسر ولا تواسر و تمم بالخیر رب زدنی علما رب زدنی علما رب زدنی علما آمین یا رب العالمین السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ وآلیکم السلام After completing four of the lessons this is the fifth lesson and today we'll focus over ism so this is ism before we uh, touch, learn, explain ism. Let me clear some points. Mufrad kalmat are mufradat. Mufrad is a single word. Mufrad, this is the Mufrad kalmat. Plural, Mufradat is a plural and Mufrad is a singular, not singular, but single word, single word. It can be singular, plural, dual, Musanna or Tasniya, Wahid Tasniya Jama, it can be Mufrad. Kalma. Mufrat Kalma means word. So if there is Mufrat, then there's also Murakab. Murakab. So we later on touch this <coughs> Murakab Kalmat, learn Murakab Kalmat. So in our previous classes, we learn that Kalma is divided into three of the groups, Ism, Fail, Harf. Three of Ajza elements, three of parts, parts of speech, word clauses. And all those eight parts of speech in English are covered with these three, Ism, Fail, and Harf. In previous clauses, in previous lectures, in previous lessons, if you uh, listen, and open, you will find all these three things there. Ism, what covers this? So noun or ism, today we learn only from this, we learn only this ism. And some of the examples <coughs> of Mufradat. Mufradat means single, single kalmat, single words, single words just Kursiyun. Kursiyun. This is a single word. Kursiyun. A chair. Farsun. A horse. Wardatun. A rose. Just like Allahu. Muhammadun. Rasulu. A messenger. Makatu. Maka. Babun. Door. Ghurfa. Room. So, these are the Single kalmat, single, but all these are the nouns. And what is the definition of noun? <clears throat> A noun is the word which proves itself, demonstrates on its own meaning, demonstrates on its own meaning, having no tense in it. There's no tense in uh, nouns. What we explained in previous classes, noun is the naming word, noun is the name of anything, it's a name. But the function of noun, it proves itself. It has the function to give a name to anything, any person, any place, any verb even. Every, each and everything has a noun called the name. In this connection, these are the examples. Again, 
but as I gave some of the examples, the, these same examples in the shape of Mufrat Kalmat, but if I say that a single verb can be a Mufrat Kalma, comes in Mufrat Kalmas, Min, Ba, Harf Jar, or Harf Particle can be a Mufrat Kalmat, but these all examples are our noun. Our noun. Kursiyun, a chair is a noun. Farsun, Wardatun, Allahu, Muhammad, Tiflun, a child, Maun, water. In this connection, many of the Sadiqun, Salihun, the nouns. So, to learn ism only. Further, <clears throat> Single words in complex is also the meaning of this. Mufrat means single word. And we have not touched murakab means when two or more words work together. Later on the topic will come. We have to go ahead. Now, four things are very important about a noun to recognize it. So things are very important about a noun to recognize it, to know it, that this is a noun. How do you recognize? You have to keep at least four things into your mind. And the first one is gender, jins. Gender refers to Tazkiro Tanis. Mu'annas Muzakkar Masculine Muzakkar Feminine Mu'annas However, there is neuter in English language which is not here in Arabic language Neuter is not in Arabic language After that, there is number Adad In counting When we separate this there is the singular Wahid Al Wahid, dual, Al Musanna, Tasniya, two, dual means two, and Al Jamao, plural. When we talk about English language or many other language as well, <clears throat> there is only singular and plural. Whether the noun is singular, one, and plural, two are more than two. More than one is called plural. But in Arabic language, there is dual. Singular one, dual two, and then plural more than two. Three, four, five, just like this. <clears throat> After that, there's article, wusat. In articles, definite article, marfa, and indefinite article, Nakra, two of the articles, when we make anything proper with Mu'araf Billam, that is definite article, from common to proper, when we convert these two other things in article, whether the noun is definite or indefinite, how it becomes, we'll learn later on. And the last era, al era, nasab, above a letter in the very last of the word, rafa, or kasra. Nasab, kasra, rafa, these are given, these are harakat, but when it comes in the very last of any letter of the word, that become era. And they have their positions according to their function. These become tanween when they work double. So tanween in nasab, double tan, double nasab, double rafa, double kasra, jar, double jar. That is called tanween. So <clears throat> to recognize a noun. These four things are very essential, are very important 
for the learner to keep into the mind. Now gender, suppose these are the examples of gender. Ummun means mother. Mother. Ukhatun, sister. Bakaratun, cow. Cow. Shatun, goat. Jamusun, buffalo. These are examples from gen, uh, gender. And all these examples are feminine. When we say umun, there is abun. When we say ukhatun, there is akun. When we say uh, waladun, bintun, waladun. So there are masculine and feminine, moannas and muzakkar, tazgir or tamiz. And number means if we talk about a single person, single thing, just like al muslimu, al muslimu, musliman ne al al muslimani, al muslimuna. This is single, muslimani, jewel, tasniya, musanna, al muslimuna. This is the plural one. In Musad, article, definite and indefinite. In English, the is used with the definite article. The book, the chair, the stool, the fan, the boy, just like this, the man. And in Arabic language, Al is used here. When there is no Al and Tanmeen is there, or any harakat is there, this is called nakra, common noun, indefinite noun, kitabun, kalamun, waladun, mirvahatun, saburatun, just like this. But when we add al kitabu, remember when al is used with any indefinite noun, Tanween is omitted into single harakat. Two of the Tanween become singular one. So this is called Gusat or article, the definite and the indefinite. Achir Kursiyun. And if we make this Definite Al Kursiyu Al Kursiyu The chair The particular chair We are talking about the particular chair here So Era The fourth one to recognize a noun These four things are very important In Era We have to recognize Harakat Nasab Jar Rafa or you may say Fata Kasra Dhamma. So this is Tanmin, Nasab Tanmin, Kasra Tanmin, and Rafa Tanmin or Dhamma Tanmin. So they are changed. We have learned in our previous lessons. If you will follow those, you will understand the concept of Arab and Harakat. You will see there the function of these Arab and Harakat. Why Muhammadun? Why Muhammadan? Why Muhammadin? Why Allahu? Why we say Allah? Why we say Allah? What this happens? We have explained this in our previous classes. So further, individually we will take genes means gender, number, musad, article, and Arab to explain furthermore.